Good morning everybody and welcome back to my vlogs. In case you are new here, hi my name is Kenna and I make videos about my life with Crohn's disease. Um, and if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. I've had a rough night. Um, I like almost fell asleep earlier around like 12 I want to say. And then I just like... I don't know, I like kind of startled myself up and then I have not been able to sleep since and it's 6 o'clock so I've just been like out here on the couch like I tried meditation, I tried um, like just like watching a show to put me to sleep I like scrolled on TikTok for a little but nothing helped and so I just decided that I was gonna just get ready and like start the day but I don't even know like what to start I mean I literally have like bags under my eyes because I'm so tired um I think a lot of it has to do with I mean I was like up um using the bathroom and stuff like that and I just couldn't get comfortable I was like super gassy and bloated I just like wasn't feeling good and I felt oh my gosh I felt so nauseous at one point I thought I was gonna puke I like did not feel good at all I don't know if this has like ever happened like where I literally just did not go to bed. I mean like I've pulled all nighters before but Crohn's wise I at least get like two or three hours a, like a night even if I'm in a flare and like this time I seriously like got I think it was an hour and then I've just been up. I don't know and it's like annoying too because I was like we were gonna go to a protest today at 12. But it's like, I don't even know if I want to do that now. But it's for an important cause. So it's like, if I don't go, I feel super guilty. But if I do go, like, I'm going to be even more tired. And we have dinner plans for this evening with two friends that we actually just met. And I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It's like, I've been in a flare for a month, and it's just constant, you know, going back and forth to the bathroom. Like, literally, I go, like, once an hour, and, like, I'm bloated, and I'm nauseous. I would so be cool with doing, like, a round of steroids, because that's how frustrated I am. It's like, I want to go out and, like, get, like, I don't want food right now. I don't like coffee. Like, I want to go to Starbucks and get like a try. I don't want to wake Kevin up, but I kind of do. Be like, can you take me to go get Starbucks? But then I'm going to feel bad. But then I'd get my Starbucks. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm all ready for the protest. Around 6 o'clock, I ended up getting back in bed and finally being. being being able, being able to fall asleep um, <clears throat> and then I woke up at like 11.30 and then I had breakfast <laughs> so that's good I got like a little refresher I'm still so exhausted it's like it sucks when you make a plan and then you know your body kind of fails you and it's just hard my job is to show you guys what it's really like and some days I just this is how I talk this is how I feel like I don't want to do anything I just feel super sick and nauseous and honestly like sit in a bath all day <laughs> it doesn't help that it's kind of gloomy out it's kind of like a double whammy and why why shouldn't they be charged for taking away the life of a man of color for taking away the life of a woman. We are on the way to the grocery store right now because um, we need to go grocery shopping. And because we have two different diets, sometimes I can get a little pricey. So if you guys want me to do like a grocery haul or like what I buy at the grocery store, let me know. We opted on not going to the dinner just because I was in a lot of pain and I still am 
done today. I'm just like up doing things, feeling a little bit more lively. Um, but yeah, we just decided not to because I just wouldn't have been myself, if that makes sense. The juicing is complete and I'm feeling really energetic right now. I don't know why, I think like the little bit of sun and the juicing for some reason really built me up. <laughs> um, but I'm still in pain. When you're in a flare, you can be in a lot of pain but then still have like the happy moments where you're just like acting normal because like that's just how it is sometimes. Like norm like sometimes you're like completely fine, but you're still in pain. And then other times it's like the pain is too much and like you know, it's just like it all varies. So it's like how you act in a flare is never specific. It is constantly changing and probably people won't even know. Like people in the grocery store probably had no idea that I had well, one, they had no idea that I had Crohn's, but like that I wasn't feeling good because I wasn't I mean I was a little hunched over, but it wasn't like how it was yesterday where it was like I was walking super slow and like I was just like my face just looked ugh, as you can see in the previous clips so yeah and I think I'm gonna make muffins no you you no why not no <laughs> why not I have a a hive that just came out of nowhere not sure why oh my god wait 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 come wait come we're come trying to we're trying to come take pictures <laughs> So I had like a mini photo shoot because I need some more pictures and then it turned out amazing. And Kev's trying to like Can you do this jacket, please? spice me up. No, it doesn't even look good. I feel like it would. Okay. I can't see it. I'm sorry. Then flip it down. Oh yeah, that's right. You like put it on? Yeah, but like have a like, yes, yes. Sorry. And if you had that Adidas bag, yeah, I think someone stole my Adidas bag, which is annoying. Yes. Okay, we should go. No. Yes, see? I'm telling okay, you. I'm see, telling I'm you. not the bougie girl or anything like that, but like this is easy. It's fine. Just take the pictures. Let's go take pictures. I don't know. It's fine. My shoes are easy. <laughs> <laughs> Stylist dressed me up in sweats. <laughs> Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Um. Meal prep is almost done. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Kevin's really fancy. And then we're waiting for fries and Brussels sprouts, correct? And this is just pasta. And that way, you could just heat it up at any point of the day and have food instead of having to make everything. Did you even make food for yourself? Salads and juice. Salads and juice. Yeah, you want to see Kevin's juice? <laughs> This is what it looks like in the uh, in the fridge. <laughs> you just have to shake it back up, but it uh oh, just a green juice. We put celery, spinach, ginger, ginger lemon. lemon, apples, and cucumber. I think that was it. And we doubled the recipe so that he had that huge jar and didn't have to keep making it all the time. Hey you guys, so I just got out of the bath and... Basically, we were watching a show and I didn't feel good so I like laid down on my side and then I ended up like curling kind of like over into a ball and I like tried to sit back up like a little bit later and like I kind of had like kind of like a c contraction, contraction of pain and I've had those before but for some reason like it kind of scared me a little bit and 
shout out to my pack chat because I asked them, I was like, what do you do when you're in a time like this? And they were like, um, take a bath, maybe a heating pack. And I didn't have, I don't have a heating pack. So Kevin, you know, drew me up a bath with some salts. And so I was like sitting in that for five to 10 minutes, but I just want to like, come on. And like share with you guys that like, you know, you saw how I was in really bad pain yesterday. And then you saw today about how like I could go and and do a lot and be kind of active. And like I was baking for God's sake. Like if you know me, you know that I'm not a huge like baker or cook or anything <laughs> and <sighs> sorry and then to have it be such like a 180 is really hard you know I don't know what tomorrow will bring I don't know I don't know if it'll be like how it was yesterday or how it was like today. I mean, I don't know. It's so unpredictable. And it's okay to have these moments where you're just really upset. And I know I'm all about positivity and fighting through and working through all of it. But it's like... Sometimes this is what it looks like too. <laughs> Where you have like a mini breakdown of how hard it can be. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> I'm 20 years old and 20 year olds have to deal with, <laughs> you know, their school assignments and stuff like that and thankfully I don't because I'm not in school but when I was in school it's like on top of that you know you have this chronic illness where you don't know how you're gonna feel when you wake up in the morning and what you feel in the morning could be completely different what you feel at night like literally what happened today <laughs> like this is like a perfect example of Honestly, I could not have picked a better day to vlog or a better couple to, couple of days to vlog because you saw me bad, you saw me good, and you saw me bad again. And like during a flare, this is kind of what it's like and it could be different for everybody, but you just never know what you're going to wake up with or what will change throughout the day. It gets really frustrating. And I'm not trying to scare you or, you know, pity me. That's not what this is. This is purely sharing what happens and that it's okay. And that if you're, you know, sitting on the other end of this right now and you, you know, just had your meltdown or, you know, you remember when you had one or you have one tomorrow, I hope you can see this and be like, okay, uh, like, as much as I'm not normal, I am. And it's okay to be upset by going through so much. You know, even if you're not in a flare and you cry or you get upset or angry, it's okay. It's okay to have those feelings. Not every day is going to be happy and feeling good and energetic. There are going to be those days where you are so fatigued and you don't want to get out of bed or you're too tired or your anxiety kicks in or something. Like, you don't know. And it's okay. You know, I've said that in my previous videos where it's like those days where you don't feel good it's okay and those days where you do feel good take advantage of it and that's what i did today is i took advantage of it and then 
something like it just happened to be at night like I don't I don't know comment down below DM me on Instagram like I will talk to you because I mean you're seeing me here vulnerable and sharing the truth about living with a chronic illness and if you want to talk to someone I'm here because I get what it's like to be alone and thankfully I'm part of such a great community where I can talk to people and share my story and all of that but some of you might feel like you're alone but you're not okay you're not alone and I'm right here with you I'm crying on camera I'm posting this on YouTube I'm sharing this and I'm being vulnerable with you so you can be vulnerable with me and I'm here for you and I love you and it will be okay and you will get through this <sighs> Honestly, I feel so much better talking to you guys right now. I, but I just feel so much better sharing this with you and kind of getting it out to a community that loves me and accepts me and understands me. All right, I love you guys and I'm here for you guys and we will get through this and live through this together.